Hi, welcome back to Kulski RC. So as you see from the title, we're going to discuss the Femi A3 and why I think it's amazing when you fly it on goggles. So when I, when I got this, the only issue I really had with it was the screen's dim and they come with a complete garbage battery charger. But you can buy the battery charger very cheap if you get one of these things. They're not much money, it's 13, 14 quid. Excellent, never had any problems with this at all. I tend to use this now more than I use the proper balance charger that I've got. It's dead handy and small, I can just throw it in and plug it in here. And the other problem, of course, was the screen. I still believe this screen's not no good. I still think it's too dim. On a, on a dull day, it's not that bad, but it's still not great. And it, the, for me, the resolution's the biggest problem. The resolution's absolutely awful on it. And the other problem I've got with this is, although there's good range on the quadcopter, there is not good range from the camera on the FPV because the 5.8 gigahertz signal back to here isn't good enough. So I've messed about with it a little bit with goggles before. But I decided to have a full flight. The flight you're going to see coming up is just a quick flight with goggles. I haven't recorded the FPV to my goggles, but I can assure you the breakup is minimal. I flew this far further than I've ever than I've flown it before looking at the screen and not had breakup. I've flown it further than this, but I've had breakup and you have to wait for it to come back and it keeps going in and out. Whereas with the goggles, I had none of that. It's a different beast with goggles and that's why... I'd still say, yeah, this is fantastic. But in my opinion, and this is my opinion, you need a pair of goggles to get the full benefit out of this. If you want to get range on this thing and fly it at range, you need some goggles. If you want to fly it like two or 300 metres, this is more than adequate if you're not flying on too sunny a day. I fly the sunshade on it, it makes very little to no difference. But I still love the controller because I love the feel of the controller in my hand. I love the weight, I love the stick resolution, and I like everything about it. I just not happy with the screen. However, there is a solution coming because I'm going to swap the screen out on this and I'll have a video on that shortly. Well, maybe, I don't know how long it's going to be down the line. I'm a bit stacked up at the minute. But I am going to swap this screen out of here and put a IPS display in here to see what how much better that'll look. Which will give it much more brightness and of course much more clarity. But for the minute, if you've got some goggles I highly recommend giving this a go. Now you don't need to have expensive goggles. This flight you're going to see I flew with my FXTs. But I've tried this with some, with a cheap pair of, I can't remember what they're called, VR06 machines. The one with the just what, and it's the one you get free in some kits. It's only got the one aerial on it. Not the diversity anyway, but you get twin aerials on some of them. This is the one with one aerial, and it was absolutely fine with them as well. And you can pick them up for about 25 quid, if you look on eBay. They cost next to nothing. So with a pair of goggles, this would be great. If you've got some fat sharks or some anything like that, it'd be amazing, I'd imagine. But yeah, so flying it that way, have absolutely love the thing. And it's give it a new lease of life for me. I don't think I'd ever fly you working at the screen again. I'll probably just I have a lot of drones, as you probably know. So this will be one I use for maybe shorter distance, just if I want to play about. I'll probably use this now for that purpose and that purpose only. Because, like I say, I don't really trust the screen that much. But yeah, fantastic with goggles. So if you have looked at one of these and you, you've thought about buying it and you've maybe been put off by the screen or something else and you've got some goggles, just don't hesitate. Just get it bought because from that point of view, it's fantastic. The camera's good on it. It's not as good. In my opinion, it's nowhere near as... It's not as good as a Spark. I'm not saying nowhere near as good as a Spark. It's not as good as a Spark. Um, but it is good. It's a very nice camera. And you've got to remember what you're paying for this thing. You can pick this up today. I've looked this morning. I can pick this up for 187 quid at the minute in various places. There's a couple of places got it for that kind of money. And if you shop around, you probably get it for that kind of price all the time now. When it first came out, it was difficult to get hold of. It isn't anymore. So, still highly recommend this. But now with goggles... I'm not saying don't buy this if you haven't got any goggles, as long as you're prepared to have some kind of breakup and don't fly it on two sunny days, you'll be fine. Um, the breakup's one of the worst things for me because the FPV signal just isn't strong enough between, and that's probably because of these antennas I'd imagine. Oh, I don't know what milliwatts is running at, to be honest with you, but I don't think this has got the best. If you look at it, you, you've paid 180 or a quid, 190 pound, you're not going to get the most sophisticated thing in the world, are you? Because an FPV monitor on its own, a decent one, is 100 quid, and I'm not talking the cheap ones you can buy, the e-machines and stuff, I'm talking a decent monitor will set you back 100 quid. So you're not going to get the best thing in the world. What you've got to be remember is you're buying a package. 
and the package is what you're getting. I, I fell out with this a bit because of the screen, to be honest with you. I tried it with goggles. I've tried a little bit before, but I had a proper flight that you only see with goggles, and I absolutely loved it. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.
So thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.